closing time at the Krusty Krab. 51, 52, 53, 29, 30, 31. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Mr. Krabs, can we please go now? Perhaps one of our more loyal workers can enlighten you on company policy. The Krusty Krab Employing Manual, second revised edition, page 35, section 19, clause 3A states, all staff must remain on the premises until the day's receipts are fully accounted for. But that's not fair. Clause 3B, the proprietor reserves the right to be unfair. Teachers, pet. Let's see. 5, 10, 25, blue, applesauce. Everything looks to be in order. Except... <laughs> where is it? Where is it? What? My dime! My special dime! The first dime I ever made! I always keep it at the back of the register for luck! Well, I've never seen it. Hmm. Are you prepared to say that with your hand on a stack of interpretive dance quarterlies? Of course I'm... <laughs> What are you saying? Me? I ain't saying nothing that would matter to anyone who'd be willing to take a lie detector test. You're saying something. Heavens to Betsy, no. It's just that me lucky dime's gone missing, and you've been working the register all day. Are you accusing me of something? Well, the way I see it, there are three possibilities. One, you stole it. Two, you stole it. Or three, you stole it. I didn't take your precious dime! Show me your tentacles. What? I want to see empty suction cups. Here, here, here. See them. You, you can't do that to me. I'm your boss. Not anymore, Mr. Krabs. I quit. No! no. I'm out of here. Squidward, you're making a big mistake. Mistake? Ha! The only mistake I ever made was wasting my life at the Krusty Krab. But a visit to the Krusty Krab makes everyone happy. And what could be better than serving up smiles? Being dead or anything else. I never knew you felt so strongly about this. Where have you been? Well, I guess I can't stop you. But Squidward, it's a cold, cold world out there. No one's gonna serve you happiness on a silver platter. Free sample? Cookies! Can I have what? Anyway, I just want you to know, if you ever get in trouble, come find me. I'll take care of you. Cause you and me, we're like brothers. Only closer. SpongeBob, I don't need your help. I am ready to unlock my potential. I can become anything I set my mind to. I could be a football player, or a king, or a spaceman. Or a football playing king in space, with a mustache. Yeah, uh-huh. You know, that reminds me. There's something I've been wanting to say to you since the day we met. Goodbye. Next time you see me, this town will be eating out of the palm of my hand. Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Squidward? Squidward, is that you? Uh, I, uh... It's me, SpongeBob. We used to work together. SpongeBob? There you go. So, where are you living these days? Good tentacles. Yes? Sign here, please. Uh, nowhere. Great! And what have you been doing with yourself? No way! Let me guess! Hmm, I see you've been working on that mustache. The tattered clothes? The awful smell? You're a football player! No. A spaceman! No. A football playing king in space? Don't you get it? I'm a loser! I lost my job, my home, everything! Oh, even your paintings? Nobody would take them, so I had to eat them! <laughs> <laughs> there, there. You can come live with me. Here you go, Squidward. You sleep in my bed. Okay, but just till I get a job. One day, two days tops. Nonsense. You stay as long as you need to. Good night, my little angel. Breakfast is ready! You're gonna need to build up your strength again, so I laid out a big buffet for you. And in bed, too? Oh, thanks, SpongeBob. SpongeBob, I... Ah. Shh, 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 shh. Here comes the plane! Um, it's really nice of you to help me in my time of need. 
I'll try not to be a burden. It's no trouble. Is there anything else I can do for you, winner? No, 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 you've already... Well... Nourishing a broken spirit is a lot of work. I'm pushed. Still, it feels nice to do good. Uh, good night, Gary. SpongeBob, can I get a glass of water? Thank you. Good night. SpongeBob, can I get some more blankets? Here you go. Thank you. SpongeBob, you forgot to turn out the light. Good night. <laughs> Gary, Squidward is not a freeloader, and he would never take advantage of me. Three weeks later. He's just having a hard time getting his confidence back. <laughs> Many months later. I'm sure he's close to a breakthrough. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. I know he still isn't looking for work! Don't rub it in! SpongeBob, where's my lemonade? Coming, Squidward! SpongeBob! SpongeBob! And why aren't you in uniform? It's about time you got here! Here you go, your majesty. I can't drink that. Why not? Are you blind? Just look at it! What about it? That lemon has three seeds in it. That's an odd number! I can't eat anything odd numbered! Fine, I'll just take it out! Oh, no! It's already contaminated by the bad lemon! It won't work! Hmm... That's two things in this house that won't work. Then go fix them. Two things that won't work. I've changed my mind. I want soup instead. Okay. Don't move. Here you go. It's alphabet soup. I made it special. <laughs> Condensed soup from a can? Disgusting! Now you've ruined my appetite. Go fetch me something to read. Oh, okay. How about this? <gasps> Get that away from me! You know I'm allergic to newsprint! <laughs> you know, when you swatted that newspaper out of my hands, it reminded me of something a friend of mine did. <laughs> At his job! Four o'clock. Time for my stories. Hurry up, they won't hold the show while you laze around. Hey, where you going? To my job. You have a job? Why wouldn't I? I'm not some lazy, inconsiderate jerk who lays in bed all day. Say, where can I get one of these jobs? Oh, they're everywhere, especially if you're green and have six tentacles. Thanks. I'm going to go look for one so I can stop mooching off my friends and they can get back to their lives. This isn't my show. SpongeBob, the remote control's broken. Get over here and fix it. I've got a better idea. Why don't I call someone whose job it is to fix it? You know why? Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! What are you saying? Donate to the children's fund? Why? What have children ever done for me? You want your dime back? Take it! Now Squidward can come back, right? 
Wrong! That ain't my first dime! Then have some more dimes! I've got plenty of them! You can't put a price on me first dime! And I can't forgive that thieving bilge rat Squidward for stealing it! <laughs> Listen, you crustaceous cheapskate! Squidward's been living in my house driving me crazy! And you're not gonna hire him back all because of a stupid dime! What's that? <gasps> me first dime! Oh, dimey! I'll never lose you again! This is a dime? I've been in business a long time, boy. So, if Squidward never stole the dime, he can come back to work, right? Aye, lad. Just let the dime and me have our privacy. <laughs> well, Mr. Squidward, it's good to have you back. Well, it's kind of good to be back, sir. It's all water under the bridge now. I agree, sir. After all, I'm sure you didn't mean to misplace me dime. What the... What are you saying? Well, it's obvious that you put the dime in me pants. Dimes just don't fly into people's pants. Are you accusing me of something? Well, the way I see it, there are three possibilities. One, you put the dime in me pants. Two, you put the dime in me pants. Or three, you put the dime in me pants. <laughs>